Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So for today's video, I have got no surprise another haul video, but as you all know, because it happened really recently, Christmas happened, but one thing that happens after Christmas that always gets me so excited is the Boxing Day sales that happen like the week after Christmas. And I was very lucky to get some money in cards for Christmas. I didn't include that in my What I Got For Christmas video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description box or at the end of this video. Um, but I got some money in cards for Christmas and I hit the sales twice. I went to Birmingham on Boxing Day. Yes, I'm stupid and I went to Birmingham on Boxing Day. It was crazy, you guys. But I got some really, really good deals. And I also went to the shopping centre near me as well and got a few other things. So if you want to see what I picked up in, the, in this year's Boxing Day sales, keep watching. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, I am going to do this in a really random order. And I am just going to try and get through everything as quickly as I can without like rushing it and flying through it so you can actually like understand what I'm saying so I haven't got a talk at like a million miles an hour so I'm just going to try and get on with it so one of the shops that I went to in Birmingham was H&M Home I'm not sure where um where else they have an actual store um but Birmingham is lucky to have one so I went in and see, to have a look see if there's any bargains and there was so I only got one thing from here I only spent four pounds in here which to be honest I'm proud of myself, like I could have spent a lot more I behaved, but I got this. It's just a tiny little red plate and I just thought this would be so cute to have like sandwiches on or cheese and crackers or cake or biscuits or like if I want food in my room but like need to put it on a plate. Like, um, Yeah, I got this for myself and this was four pounds in the sale and I absolutely love it. So yeah, can't wait to have loads of food off that, yeah. I love it. It was only four pounds, like such a bargain. I absolutely love that. Obviously, like I said, H&M Home haven't got many stores. So I would say the best bet if you want to find this would be to check H&M Home website and see if you can order it online if you want to get your hands on it. Next shop that I went to was Boots. Now, Boots was a place that I was really looking forward to seeing what they got in their sale. They normally have some really good gift sets on offer, like the Christmas gift sets that are available throughout December. They often like half the price of them it's brilliant so the first thing that i picked up in boots was this it's a tiny little pixie set i'll bring it up close so you can have a little look at it so it's the best of bright gift set i don't know if that's focusing on it or not um but in here there's a glow mud cleanser a glow mud mask and the glow tonic now the glow tonic is a cult product in skincare for so many people and has been for quite a few years now it's amazing i've had a bottle of it and run out of it like quite a few times it's amazing it's just your skin just feels so nice after using it and it really does make you glow it's so good um i love taking it on holiday um it's really good at like getting like all the dead skin off if my skin's really dry so that's a bit gross but it's the truth it works so i got this little gift set i found it i can't remember how much it was so yeah i'm really really happy with this so there's three little miniatures in here and miniature products are really, really good for me because if I'm traveling and I'm hand luggage only, all liquids have to be under 100 mil. And these, the biggest size in here is 40 mil. So it's perfect. I just couldn't help but pick it up. And then the other thing that I picked up from Boots, it wasn't like necessarily in the sale, but I'd got some points on my points card and I'd got some money left. And it wasn't reduced or anything but it was just something that I really wanted and I kind of just used Boxing Day as like an excuse just to finally get my hands on it so I bought this I'll bring it in closer um god the cellophane is giving a really really bad reflection but hopefully you can see that um I bought myself a 50 milliliter bottle of Moonlight by Ariana Grande um Ariana does perfumes she's got like five or six fragrances out now um all of them are amazing and this is the third one that I've actually got personally so I've got Ari I've got Sweet Like Candy and I have this one I am yet to purchase Thank You Next and Cloud they are next on on my list of things that I want to get um but I just thought you know what screw it I've wanted this for so long and I just keep putting it off and putting it off and it was getting to the point where if I keep putting it off I'm never gonna get it so I bought myself the 50 ml bottle of this and this was 31 pounds but I really wanted it so i'm really really happy that i got it so yeah it's all like purple 
and stuff. The actual bottle itself is um, like purple and it's got like the little like pom-pom ball thing that um, Ariana's bottle, perfume bottles are known for having. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I did spray the tester on my hands so um, I know what it smells like. Um, it's like quite sweet, marshmallow, blackberry I think it is, but I could definitely scent like detect a, a scent of like vanilla and marshmallowy type things it's so nice you guys um if you haven't smelt it like go into like super or boots and see if you can get a tester and just like spray it on your hand or your wrist or something it smells amazing so i finally got myself this and i'm so so happy to finally have it the next shop that i went to was Victoria's Secret. Now Victoria's Secret again is another shop that does an amazing sale. Like if you can find the bargains in here like you're on to a winner it's amazing. So I got a decent sized bag of goodies in here. Here they are. So the deal this year in the Victoria's Secret sale was that um, they got like these boxes of underwear um like organized by size you had like sm extra small small medium large and extra large um and any underwear that was in those boxes was 4.99 so like normally victoria's secret the underwear and like the uh knickers and that they're like 10 nearly 10 pounds each but um on boxing day this year like for the boxing day sales um they'd half the price of them and it was only 4.99 a pair instead of like 9.99 a pair so i thought that was absolutely amazing so me and the friend that i went to the sales with we both went crazy over this discount and we both bought quite a few pairs of knickers so i mean look how long the receipt is like oh my god i don't know whether to be ashamed of myself at this point i'm just going to quickly show you which one which ones i got so i got all of mine in a size extra large and all of them were 4.99 all of them were the same price so that makes things really simple so first off i got this khaki green color with like um a gold glitter thing going on on the waistband i absolutely love those the next pair i got was just plain black because you can never have enough black underwear especially well i can't i just love black underwear it's just brilliant goes everything and it's a lifesaver at a certain time of the month so um i just got these black ones just relatively plain but i'm not one for really big flashy things i quite like just plain colored uh, underwear so yeah these are the shorty ones and they're actually ribbed i don't know if that's like coming up on camera but they're actually ribbed so they're so comfy and i can't wait to wear these the next pair that i got look like this this gave me like jack wills vibes almost with the pink and blue i think it's blue might actually be purple uh, but i might be color blind so who knows but this reminded me of Jack Wills with like the pastel-ish pink and then like the navy blue, I want to say, like stripes. And um, this just gave me Jack Wills vibes, so I couldn't help but get these. And also the fabric on this is so soft. I don't know what this is made from, but it's so soft. So I can only imagine how comfy these are going to be when I get them on. The next pair that I got are these. So similar to the um, green ones that I showed you first, they're just in like a teal uh like light blue color and again they've just got the gold on the waistband i absolutely love them the next pair that i got and might actually be my personal favorite of the ones i got are these so these are a gorgeous purple color and again you're getting, getting a theme but look at the glitter on that waistband like i'm obsessed with that like oh my god so happy yeah i think these might be my personal favorite of all the ones i got i just love this purple color it's just gorgeous the next ones i got with these again just simple boxer ones like a pinky red color and um, these aren't glitter these are just like a normal waistband without any glitter in but i still love them and they look so comfy and then the next ones that i got were these just good old boxes like boxer short like short type ones just a good old burgundy with a relatively simple waistband love them the next pair that I got were these um, red with um, a, like a the white writing on the waistband. Relatively simple. Like I said, I'm not into flashy underwear. I just like simple, plain, plain colours really. And then I got these grey ones. Um, they're like a dark grey rather than a light grey. Because you see a lot of underwear that's in like a light grey marl kind of colour. But I just thought this darker grey, like a more of a charcoal grey, was just a bit different. And I thought they were really, really nice. So I got those. And then finally, like the purple ones, I got the same style, but just in pink. And I absolutely love these. Like the glitter on that waistband. Oh my God. 
I love it so much. So yeah, that is the selection of underwear that I got from Victoria's Secret. And yes, I did go a little bit overboard, but honestly, boxer shorts are my favourite style of underwear. I just don't get on with like thongs, really. I just, I mean, if you if you like them, then that's fine. But that's my personal taste is they they annoy me, and I don't like how they feel. So yeah, anything like on the shorts or. I don't mind bikini ones, but shorts are my personal favourite. So yeah, I just grabbed a load of colours that will go with everything and for every type of occasion that I might need. So yeah, I just went a little bit crazy, but I'm happy with every single colour that I got. And yeah, I love Victoria's Secret underwear. And the fact they do um, a size XL is brilliant and it's just that little bit bigger for me. So they're really comfy. Now, the next two things are um, alcohol related. So if you're 18, if you're not um, 18, then I apologize because this will not be relevant to you, but I know that a large portion of my followers are over 18. So yay to that. So I actually got myself two bottles of alcohol. Um, the first one being this. It's a bottle of my favorite gin of all time. It's the White Lee and Neal. Um, rhubarb and ginger gin. I actually had this on a flight. Um, I can't remember. I think I was flying to the Caribbean and this gin was available in the cabin that I was in um, with no extra charge or anything. So I was like, yeah, it's like a, it's not normal gin. It's a flavoured gin. I'll give it a go. And ever since then, I have just been absolutely obsessed with it. Um, <clears throat> and I've had it like I've had it in miniature bottles. I've had it when I've been out places. But I've never had a full size bottle. So with some of my Christmas money that I had left over, I finally took the plunge and bought myself a full size bottle of this gin because I know I'm gonna drink it. It's my favorite gin ever. I just, the rhubarb isn't sour as such. Like you associate rhubarb with like rhubarb and custard sweets that are really sour. For some reason, the rhubarb in this is not sour. It's really, really nice. And then the ginger, um, it just like, I don't know. It just like gives like a warm tingle on your tongue as you drink it. Sounds weird, but honestly, just trust me. And if you can get your hands on this gin, try it. It's so, so nice. But my personal tip is, is this, and I say this to everyone. Do not get gin with tonic. Get it with lemonade. Because a lot of people are like, ugh, gin's so gross. Like, ugh, it tastes rank. And I'm like, yeah, but what, what do you have your mixer with? And if they've said tonic, I always say, get lemonade. And then they're like, wow, this is so nice. I'm like, yeah, it's not the gin, it's the mixer. So always get lemonade with this one. Um, tonic is just disgusting. Like, come chat to me in the comments. Um, are any of you tonic lovers, like, tell me how do you drink it without going like, because honestly, I can't deal with it. But yeah, if you get this gin, get it with lemonade. It's absolutely amazing. And I can definitely recommend this if you're looking for a new gin to try. This gin was £20 for the whole bottle because at the time I bought it, it was actually on offer because of Christmas and New Year's Eve and everything. Loads of the alcohol have had like the prices reduced because of all the festivities. So I thought I'd snap it up while it was like on offer. And then the other alcoholic drink that I got is this. Now this is a liqueur. It's called Kahlua. I think I'm saying it right. Um, it's a coffee liqueur. But this isn't something you drink on, on its own necessarily. Um, you use this um, in cocktails. It's a, it even says in the bottle it's crafted for cocktails. Um, but I bought a bottle of this. It, um, this was £10. It should have been £15, but there was £5 off it because of all the festivities and everything. Um, but this is a coffee liqueur and this is actually used in espresso martinis. So in espresso martinis, there's this liqueur, there's vodka, and there is a shot of espresso coffee and then ice and all that and it's shook up and then that's it but i've got vodka and obviously i've got coffee in the house but i didn't have this liqueur and espresso martinis are one of my favorite cocktails now to have like when i'm out or having dinner or at a bar and stuff like that so i thought well you know what seeing as it's only 10 pounds for the bottle and i've got the christmas money i'm going to get myself a bottle so i can have them when like when I'm at home and that doesn't mean that I'm restricted to having them just when I'm out. So I bought myself a bottle of this coffee liqueur and I literally cannot wait to have this on New Year's Eve. Um, I'm going to be making all the espresso martinis and all the porn star martinis because I've got the ingredients for both now, which is so exciting. So I finally took the plunge. I managed to Google it online to see what the coffee liqueur in an espresso martini is. And it was this. And luckily, 
the big Tesco near to where I live had quite a few bottles of this so I snapped it up while I was there so yeah that's the other bottle of alcohol that I got and yeah sorry if you're under 18 that wasn't relevant but hopefully the cocktail lovers out there like me uh, found that somewhat interesting the next thing that I got is something I've been wanting for quite a while now and again like the perfume this wasn't like in a sale as such I kind of just bought it because I wanted it and I had the money for it which I was very very lucky to have so um it's a morph palette um morphe morph or morphe I never quite know how to say it if you, anyone knows the correct way come and tell me in the comments but um I always say it's morph but yeah morph palettes are my favorite I've got quite a few of them now I've got 35 uh, 35 B 39L um I think it's like 19B or something like that. I've got about four or five of these. And the shadows are just so pigmented. There's every colour you could possibly want. There's mattes, there's glitters, there's shimmers. Like everything you need to create pretty much any look and morph, have a palette for it. It's brilliant. Um, So I bought the 39L palette. Um, It was around Black Friday, I think. Um, So I've had it for about six weeks now and i absolutely love it and then i was in there on boxing day and i saw this palette and i just could not resist it um the colors in here i'm going to get it out and show it to you the colors in here are absolutely unreal and i cannot wait to start playing with them if you want a tutorial uh, of me using this palette and creating an eye look with it let me know and i will happily film that for you if i can um but yeah so it's the 39s palette which is the such a gem artistry palette and yeah are you ready for this like look at the colors in there you guys like how incredible like all the pinks all the purples so many shimmers in there like i'm trying to get it in the best light possible so you can like see like the shimmer on some of these colors i mean look at that one down there like how glittery is that and then like that bright pink and that that purple there i'm so obsessed like, I just couldn't help myself. So, this palette was £35, which I get. Um, it's quite expensive for a palette, um, and it isn't, like, in everyone's budget. But for me personally, I love Morph eyeshadows, and their palettes are my favourite. So, I didn't mind, like, splurging on it, and it was something that I really, really wanted. But I also got this palette um, as a little present to myself, because I actually hit 4,000 followers on Instagram, which is something that I'm really, really proud of myself for, and I've been trying to get to that point for quite a while now, and it was my goal for the end of the year to hit either 4K or 5K, so I'm really, really happy. So, this was kind of, a, it was a Boxing Day sales thing, but it was also a little present to myself um, and a little well done to myself for getting to 4,000 followers. So if you follow me on Instagram, thank you. It means the world to me and thank you for all the support. So yeah, this is a little present to myself and I cannot wait to start playing with it. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you want me to do an eye look with this palette, let me know in the comments and I can definitely try and film that somehow for you guys. The next place that I went to in my little Boxing Day sale shopping splurge was no other than Lush because Lush do an amazing Boxing Day sale in that all the Christmas um, items and the Christmas stock that they have left over, um, everything, like with pretty much without exception if it's like Christmas related, anything that is left gets um, half price so it's 50% off like anything. So I actually was quite well well behaved in Lush um because the next place I'm going to show you which is that bag over there I was really badly behaved so I was actually quite well restrained in Lush um I only I only got four things which to be honest I'm well done me I'm actually proud of myself so the first thing in this humongous bag the first thing that I got is the Holly Go Lightly Amaze Ball bath bomb now I'm not going to get it out because they've sealed it up so nicely but um, I will add a picture in now of what it looks like on the website so you can have a little look and see what it looks like. But yeah, as you can see from the picture, it's green, it's absolutely massive. And honestly, this bath bomb is literally going to last like three baths. There's no way I'm using all that in one go. Like, no way, Jose. Like, I'm much, much of a tight ass to do that. So, 
um, it's at least getting two uses. I'll use like I'll split it in half and use one half in one and one half in the other or something. But um, yeah, it was fifty percent off, so I believe I've got the receipt here actually, which was clever of me to keep. So the Holly Go Lightly Amaze Ball should have been eight pound fifty, but in the fifty percent off sale, I got it for four pound twenty five. So for a big massive bath bomb like that, I mean, look at the bag. It's it's literally like as nearly as big as my face like the bag is huge it didn't fit in like the normal bath bomb bags so yeah that was four pound 25 and that's the holly go lightly amaze ball and i've never had an amaze ball bath bomb from lush before so i'm excited to try out a new concept and see what it does in the water next thing from lush that i got is something that i was hoping and praying would be left in the sale um and it's this it's the yog nog bubble bar sorry i had to just smell it it just smells so good so the yog nog scent family if you're not familiar with it it's like a salted caramel and toffee kind of vibe um even it's called like yog nog um yeah the, the scent generally is um like cocoa butter and there's to me it smells like salted caramel and like toffee and stuff and it just smells amazing like and caramel and like all the good stuff and um, but this is a bubble bar so like if you've not heard if you've not heard of bubble bars before you put them under the running water and they make bubbles you don't use all of them in one go i mean unless you want an absolute mountain of bubbles then feel free to use the whole thing in one go but generally people just like use a little bit or cut some off or break some off and just use that in like, like per bath if that makes sense um but I love bubble bars. They're like my favourite thing from Lush. I absolutely love them. So I obviously got one of these while it while it was fifty percent off, and that was should have been six ninety five. But with the fifty percent off, I got it for three pound forty seven, and that is going to last me at least three baths. So literally a pound per bath, which to be honest is pretty good. So yeah, I'm really happy that I managed to grab one of those because I was worried that like I'd gone too late and they'd all sold out. The next thing that I got is a tiny little thing compared to the big bag that I showed you first. And this is the warm sock bath melt. Now, I'll add a little picture in of what this looks like um, on the screen so you can have a look. But this literally looks like a stocking. It's so cute. I saw it in the little bath oil section of the Birmingham store. And I was just obsessed. And I was like, that's like a little stocking. Like, How cute is that going to be? But also like bath oils at this time of year are really nice because they're full of oils that moisturise your skin and like the oils just melt into the water and make the water really moisturising and stuff. And with how cold it is at the minute because like winter's just vile, a um, little bit of TLC and a little bit of self-care in the form of moisturising never goes amiss. So I thought a little bath oil like that could just be something that I could just pop in the bath with all my bath salts and bubble bars and bubble bath and everything else. And it'll just make the water even better and more moisturising. And it can be an extra step of pampering. So I got that. This smells like, to me, it smells like marzipan, almonds, that type of thing. So if you're not a fan of like almonds and marzipan, then you probably won't like the smell of this. But if you are and you like marzipan like on cakes and stuff like I do, you'll probably like the scent of this. It smells really, really nice. Um, And that should have been 3 95 but with the discount, I got it for £1.97. So that was a good little bargain. And then finally, I only got one, I only got four things in Lush because I was so well behaved. Um, and I couldn't go in there and not get a tub of this. It's the Once Upon a Time Body Lotion. I'll open it and show you what it looks like. So it looks like that. Uh, I'm trying, trying to show it so it doesn't like spill all over my carpet. But yeah, it's this vivid green, pastely green colour and I'm obsessed with it. Um, and if the colour like doesn't give it away, this smells like apples. Um, if you've had the Santa's Belly Shower Jelly or the So White Bath Bomb or anything So White, to be honest, it smells exactly the same as this. And the So White scent is one of my favourites from Lush. So when they released this as a moisturiser, I was like, hell yeah. So I got myself a tub of this while it was um, in the sale because I love it. And I just wanted to stock up and made sure I had some um, going spare in my cupboard. So... Okay, I'm going to put it away now. Otherwise, I will just sit here and smell it and not film this video. So, um, that moisturiser should have been £10, but with the discount, I got it for £5. So, in total, I only spent £14.70. 
So I'm a very happy little bunny with all my Lush goodies. And yeah, Lush Boxing Day sale is one that I always look out for every year. So I'm really glad that I managed to get some bargains. The penultimate bag that I have to show you is one where I just let loose and went absolutely crazy. And this bag weighs a ton. Carrying this around Birmingham pretty much destroyed my left arm. And like, it was all bruised here because of how heavy it was. So this... This big massive bag that weighs a ton is from the body shop again like lush the body shop is a sale that I always look out for every year and I always go in and have a look to see if there's any bargains and oh my word this year there was some great deals in there um, and I actually went to the body shop first and I'm really glad that I did because there's actually more in here um, than there was in lush for me personally so I'm really really happy and I'm going to show you everything I got. So I'm going to try and speed through this because there's a lot, otherwise we'll be here all day. So first off, I got two bottles of the Juicy Pear Shower Gel. Um, I actually got some of this for Christmas. If you haven't seen my What I Got For Christmas video where I talk about this, I will link that either up here or down below in the description box. You can go and watch that um, where I talk about it in more detail. But basically, I, I'm just obsessed with the smell and I wanted to make sure I was fully stocked up. Um, and I don't want to run out anytime soon. So I bought two more bottles of that. Um, and they were half price. They were £2.50 each instead of £5 each. So I got like buy one get one free basically. So I got two bottles of that. The next thing that I got was £8. And it's a little gift set. So um, one of the Christmas scents this year at the body shop was the peppermint candy cane scent. Um, if you like anything minty you would love this. Um, so in this little gift set um, you get um a little shower gel which is so cute and perfect for traveling so it's a little miniature um you get a little sugar body scrub i love the sugar body scrubs from the body shop again in my other video i talk about these and why i love them so much um and then you get a little mini body butter as well and you also get um i believe that's a full size hand cream as well all in the same scent so i got all of this little lot like, I don't know if you can actually see all of it, but I got all of that little lot for £8. So £2 per product, basically, which I think is really, really good value. Um, and it should have been £18 at full price. So you get £10 off it for the same thing. So £2 per product, which I think is really, really good. The next thing that I got um, was two more bottles of shower gel and I got two bottles of the Rich Plum shower gel. This was one of the other Christmas scents this year at the body shop. So I actually bought something from pretty much every scent that they had this year. Um, this is really, really fruity. It's quite sweet. Um, I love sweet things. I love fruity things. This is right up my street. Um, it smells absolutely amazing. Like, oh, that's just so sweet and so lovely. So, yeah, again, these were £2.50 each instead of £5 each. So I got both of these for £5. Um, they were just half price, which is brilliant. So, yeah, I just stocked up because I go through shower gel, like, alarmingly quickly because I use it in my baths, I use it in the shower, and I just go through it really quickly. So I thought I would stock up on them while they were half price. Um, and seeing as the Christmas scents will disappear for a year and we don't know if it'll come back because they might bring out something new. So I got two bottles of that. And yeah, can't wait to use them. I'm gonna try and make them last as long as I can. So the next thing that I got from the body shop was this little gift set. Um, this was nine pounds originally, but in the sale it was reduced to five pounds. And I got this with travel in mind. So I'll bring it up close so you can have a little look at it. So it's this little shower gel set. So there's four different shower gels in here and all of them are 60 milliliters. So um, like I said, with travel in mind, I bought this because if I go hand luggage only anywhere, um, you have to have liquids under 100 mil. And if these are already done for me, it means I haven't got to like get one of my other bottles and squeeze it into another bottle. And it's just less mess and less faff and it just saves a bit of time. So yeah, I got these and in here there's four different scents. All of them are fruit ones, which are perfect for me. So there's Satsuma, Pink Grapefruit, Strawberry and Mango. I've had the Strawberry one. I've actually got um, a bigger bottle of it in the shower already. And oh my God, it smells incredible. Um, I've smelled all of these like in the store because they have like the sample ones that you can try. Um, and all of them smell amazing. Like they're all fruit ones, so it's right on my street. So I got this little gift set just with travel in mind, but also not just for travel. 
like abroad like through airports but also like if i go like for weekends away instead of having to take like a big massive bottle of shower gel that takes like loads of space i can just pop a little one of these in my bag and i'm good to go so i bought that little gift set and then the next thing that I got, now this isn't actually for me, I actually got this for a friend because um, she's always moaning to me how in the winter her hands get cold and then her skin goes really dry and then it cracks and it goes really sore. So I bought her a hand cream. Now the reason I've got it is that I haven't actually seen her yet to be able to give it to her so I'm hoping that I'll give it to her at some point soon. Um, either like tomorrow or whenever I can um, so it's just a little um, a little hand cream and um, this was reduced I can't remember how much it is I've got the receipt here and uh, the hand cream was £2.50 so it should have been £5 but it was re reduced to £2.50 in the in the sale so I just thought I would get my friend a little pick me up and a little treat Um, I mean obviously the fact that it was in the sale was even better but I would have bought it for it for her at full price anyway um, and I just thought that warm vanilla was just a scent that you can't really go wrong with and it's not like spicy or like too fresh or whatever like vanilla is quite neutral so I thought I'd just get her a little vanilla hand cream so she can keep it in her bag and then she can stop moaning to me about the, the state that her hands are in so I actually got that for a friend so I'm not keeping this one but I still bought it so I thought I'd include it in the little video and then the last thing that I got from the body shop it's another gift set no surprise um this should have been 15 pounds at full price but was nine pounds in the sale which is brilliant and it's this little gift set this little gift set right here and inside it there are two full-size body yogurts um if you haven't heard of body yogurts from the body shop they are amazing basically they're like moisturizers but they're not as thick as the butters are because they're made with different things um and i find with like body butters sometimes they take ages to dry and then you try and put like jeans on or clothes on and like your clothes like stick to you because like it hasn't dried in yet and that's why i love these yogurts so much because they moisturize your skin in the same way and they leave your skin feeling really really soft but they literally dry in seconds they literally dry instantly so you can put it on you can put loads on um, I really like go for it and moisturize and um, but they dry really fast so you can put your clothes on straight away which is brilliant so I got this little gift set because I love the body yogurt and I just wanted to stock up on them basically so I in this little gift set there is the almond milk body yogurt which I actually ran out of about a month ago and I miss it so badly it's it's beautiful and that one's suitable for sensitive skin so if your skin's sensitive get on this it's brilliant and I promise you like it'll change your life like no more waiting for your moisturizer to dry because it just dries in seconds and also a little tip for you if, if it's a really really hot summer's day put them in the fridge and they'll be freezing cold and you'll put it on it'll be like oh it's just like it's so nice um so there's the almond milk one which i've already had before and can definitely recommend and then the other one is the british rose scent from the body shop i don't actually think i've had anything in this scent before so i'm really intrigued to see what it's like and try it on my skin um i love rose things anyway i've had rose things like from lush and from many many other places so i'm sure i'm going to love it oh and another thing just to mention um these are 100 percent vegan so if you are a vegan and you need a new moisturiser, get on these. They're 100% vegan. Which I think, to be honest, most things at the body shop are because they are also cruelty free. Which is gets a massive thumbs up from me. Because in my opinion, all brands should be cruelty free. I don't know how some of them, like, or actually a lot of them still aren't. Like, I... It, all of them should be in my opinion that's all i'm gonna say so that's what i got from the body shop yeah i went absolutely crazy but i am really happy with everything that i got so we've actually come down to the last item in this haul um and this is from shoe of all places and this was totally unplanned i didn't go to the sales with buying a pair of shoes in mind it just kind of happened we actually went in there to look for something for my friend and then my eyes got want, like started wandering off and I saw these pair of shoes and I was like, oh, I actually really like them. And my friend was like, well, why don't you just try them on? So I asked them if they got my size because usually because I'm a size eight, um, places don't have my size. It's like, we can order it in for you and it'll come in a few days. And it's like, really? Or, or if it's not that, it's we only go up to a seven. If I had a dollar or a pound for every time I got told that, I would literally have hundreds of pounds at this point. 
um it happens all, all the time it's like the biggest pet peeve ever like if you're if you're a big a big footed person like me um and you're like a size eight like come chat to me in the comments and tell me if that's happened to you and they've just said that they only go up to a seven because honestly it's like the biggest pet peeve ever so i went to shoe and i didn't have the intention of buying some shoes but here we are i did and honestly um i've saved the best till last and this is the biggest bargain of the whole like of the whole haul and of my whole boxing day i am absolutely chuffed with this so here's the first clue it's feeler so this is a pair of trainers i got myself some trainers so yeah this is the box and i've got the uh feeler provenance black suede trainers i've got them in a size eight um so these are chunky trainers i'll get them out of the box for you in a second so i've got my chunky trainers um in white they are also from feeler feeler seems to do really really good chunky trainers so love that um i got those in march when i was in camden town um and i've been obsessed with them ever since um i wore them to new york to fly in um and they're just the comfiest trainers ever and i was th and i have like had it in mind that i wanted some black ones um as well as white ones um cuz it's always good in my opinion to have black and white cuz then you can wear them with like everything like i've got the same thing with my converse i've got white converse and black converse and it's just brilliant cuz some things go better with black some go better with white so i had had it in mind to get some black chunky trainers at some point I just didn't think it would be so soon like this Boxing Day. So I went into shoe and I saw these. I tried them on and I fell in love. And I said to my friend, I was like, if I look hideous, just tell me now. Like, please just be honest. Um, and she was honest with me and she said she really liked them. But I don't know she wouldn't lie to me. So I got these these are the shoes i'm absolutely obsessed with them so there's the feeler logo going on there they're black suede there's the laces there um and then the feeler like i don't know what that is almost like a little like not a strap because it doesn't do anything but just a little thing going on there with the feeler logo again they're black suede and then that's the sole so my other ones have got like the jagged edge uh, the jagged edge thing going on on the sole but these ones are like rounded off more and that was the bit that i was unsure of when i first like saw them i was like oh my god like is that gonna look hideous on me like the like everything from like my hand upwards like this bit i was obsessed with like completely like from the beginning but it was just this bit i was a little bit worried about and i was like god am i just gonna look like clumpy am i gonna look hideous um, but when I tried them on, I was completely sold um, and also having a second opinion from my friend, which is brilliant. But I tried them on and they are so comfy. And yeah, they are pretty much as comfy as my, as my white ones are. And I'm absolutely obsessed with them. And I cannot wait to wear these. Um, I'm going to end up travelling in them. I'll wear them to uni. I'll wear them to work. I, I'm going to wear these so much. Like trainers are probably like the most worn like shoe item in my wardrobe like 90 percent of the time i'm wearing trainers if it's not that i'm either wearing slippers in my house so you know go figure like these are going to get so much use and they're going to be so well loved because i just live in trainers i wear them like with everything so yeah that's what I look like i'll bring them closer one more time just so you can have a little look And I'm so happy that they have my size. And actually, I got lucky because when I said to the girl that, like, they were fine and I'm going to get them, she actually said to me, this is the last size 8 we've got in stock because um, everything else is gone. So everyone else obviously had the same idea and liked them as well. So that's always a good sign. Um, so I, I got the last size 8 that was available, which I was like, ooh, lucky me. But the reason why I've saved this till last and why I've saved the best till last is this. Um... These trainers initially should have been £85. And then in the sale, I've got the little sale tag here. Um, so they should have been £85. They were reduced to £49.99. And then in shoe on Boxing Day, if you had a valid Uni Days account or your student ID lanyard, um, they knocked off another 10%. So they should have been £85 and I got them for £44.99. So... I essentially got £40 off a pair of trainers, which is absolutely ridiculous, especially for ones like this. I mean, chunky ones can be quite expensive and quite pricey sometimes, and feelers are good make as well. Like, it's not like some, like, I don't know, like Primark or something where they're like £12 to begin with. Like, feelers are a well-known brand and it can be quite pricey. 
Um, I mean, they should be, should have been eighty five, so that tells you enough. Like they they can be pricey, so they should they should have been that. And then they were reduced to forty nine, and to get it reduced to forty four ninety nine just because I'm a student was just like the icing on the cake. I was like, mate, I'm onto a winner here. So this was my bargain of the day, and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Like I can't believe I got forty pounds off the original price for these. It's just ridiculous. Um. And honestly, it makes me love them even more because I was like, wow, that is such a good deal. Like, I don't know about you guys, but it's always so satisfying to me if I get a good a good deal and a good bargain on something. It's like, yes, like, love that. Like, let me know in the comments if that's ever happened to you and you've just had, like, a yes moment where it's like, I got a good deal, like, I got a bargain, like, love that. If that's happened to you at the sales this year, let me know. We'll come and chat and, like, celebrate each other's little bargain wins. So yeah, those are the trainers. I cannot wait to wear them. I, I'm just going to wear them like with everything. Um, I've got so many ideas for these. So yeah, those are my trainers. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. And yeah, bargain of the day and bargain of the haul. And that's it. That is everything, and I mean everything, that I picked up this year at the Boxing Day sales. So as you can see, I went a little bit crazy and I have treated myself, but I had the Christmas money and yeah, I'm, I'm just in a very lucky position that I am able to treat myself like this. Um, and I also am very lucky that I got money in some of my Christmas cards this year, which is really, really nice and generous of people to give me. Um, I, um, I love getting money in Christmas cards. I know some people don't like giving money as presents, but honestly, on the receiving end, I personally don't mind it and it means I can just go and get things for myself that I've seen that I want to get that other people that I haven't seen for a while might not have necessarily known about. So thank you for watching if you got this far. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got in the sales. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for me. That would be the coolest thing ever. And if you're new around this little part of the internet, go click that subscribe button below. I would love it so much if you did that. Um, I'm also going to link all my other socials um, below because if you want to see like how I start training and things like that, you'll probably see that on my Instagram the fastest. So I'll link all those in the description box. But for now, I will love you and leave you. So thank you for watching. I love you all loads and I will see you all soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.